The Retopo tool can work on top of STLs, it can work on top of NURBS or other subdivisions, and it's a very universal tool. It's one of my favorites. Let's take a look at using it on top of a STL file. I've got an STL file that, let's reduce the mesh just a little bit. I'm gonna go into the tool. I'll select the STL. We don't have a subdivision that we're starting with, so I'll just hit go. It has a little guide of the mouse buttons with the clutch keys, shift and control. So at first, if we just tumble in and I'm just gonna click a bunch of points onto this model. Now if I hold the shift key and I mouse over, you can see that it will show me a preview of the quad that it will create. So I'll just click on this one, and then I can click on this one, and this could be in any combination. I can just come in here and select one edge and drag it out. Just hold down shift, and shift will extend edge. Now if I wanna extend an entire loop, I can hold down shift, middle mouse button, and it's gonna extend the entire loop. So here I'll just place these quickly right down, basically the center. Looks great. And then one last final one. If I wanna make adjustments to this, I can either pick the point, I can pick the face, or an edge in order to smooth these out. Let's finish this off and, and I'll show you a cool little, a couple features. So grab this piece, yeah, and then we'll just create one last one. And then real quickly, I'll come in here and just place these a little closer to this character line of this wheel arch or the fender. Like that. Now, if I missed an area or I have extra points that I don't really need, I can delete those just by holding control and I can use, I believe, middle mouse button. I can, let's see, move loop. So I'm just gonna grab the middle mouse button and move a loop like this. And then I'll insert a loop. So shift, left mouse button. Whoops, not that one. There we go. And I can insert a loop just like that. And it automatically sticks to our STL file. Well here, let's just keep building this. I'm gonna come right over the wheel arch into the center. Reposition this one down here. And we'll do that again. And maybe in this area, can just make a few adjustments, something like that. And if I find that I'm getting, you know, the placement or the topology is really zigzagging, the right mouse button is a relax and it relaxes the points, but they're still sticking to the STL. So I can go in here and help smooth some of the zigzags and, uh, and soften those transitions around the model. So that's just right click. Now, if I see something where, you know, maybe I wanna cut across something or really change the way that it's positioned, I can use Control and Alt and I can start cutting just like that. And then I'll just hit control and I can delete and reposition and do whatever I need to do in order to complete this, uh, this model. Just do that. So here I'll cut again, control alt. We'll just go all the way across like that, and then delete. And then I'll cut, like that, perfect. And then if I need more information in this area, I can insert an edge with shift. So I'm just going to do something like this. And then it looks like, oh, because of this here, let's go ahead and delete these. There we go. 
come up close to this and look at this. If you have, I just extended this loop and if I wanna snap these two, I can just move it close and as soon as it gets close, they're gonna weld and snap together. And so for the exercise, just allow everybody to come through here and build up this model by simply, oops, let's uh, drag that whole loop. I'm gonna just snap that one. And now that these are all aligned, yeah, and just allow everybody to come through and build as much of this car as they can. Now, if I exit the tool and I move some of these points, I can move them off of the model. This is important because at any time I can come back and I can quarry edit. And the moment I touch this one now, it's gonna snap back to the STL file. So even though I moved it off of the model while I'm not outside of the tool, if I needed to get back to the model, I just enter the retopo tool again and it will snap to the, to the STL. Now, if I say persistent projection, if I grab say an edge and I move it, it's gonna stick to the model. So it's persistent even outside of the tool. 